My name is Lisa Avellino from the Philippines and is currently working in Hong Kong as a domestic helper. On my uh, day off, I do some hiking, you know, for seven years. That leads me to a big ambition to go to the Himalayas. I just got back from my trip, 22 days trip to uh, Everest Base Camp and attempt to climb one of the peak nearby, uh, Island Peak, at the height of uh, uh, 6,189 meters. And along the trail, you get to see different uh, views. Uh, the more higher you get, the more beautiful the scenery is like. So nothing compared to anywhere I've seen. The more uh, higher the elevation you get, you realize that it's more strenuous and it gets difficult. So the trail gets narrower and lots of people passing by, back and forth, lots of porters, so you have to be focused on the trail. Before we uh, summit day, we did a training and then suddenly there's a snowstorm. Um, first time in my life to have that kind of weather and um, it, it just gets so tiring and a little bit scary, you know. Waking up the next day, I'm so congested. I can't, uh, I can't breathe through my nose. It means I have to stop. Like I cried, but um, thinking the, the positive side of it, you know, it means more life for me. Like, you know, I can always come back next year. There's always, the mountain is still there. The earthquake happens um, right on time when I'm about to leave Nepal. We were in the lobby of the hotel and then suddenly the, the ground shakes. We run outside at the patio where there's a, a little bit of space away from the building and we just, we just hug each other and we just stand there waiting for the, the earthquake to stop and then we went a little bit farther and we saw building crashing on the ground and everyone screaming. And uh, I didn't even remember if I screamed, but I, 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 can, I, can, I know I cried. And, um, I was stuck for one more day and we stayed in a tent. It's a traumatic experience, but um, uh, makes you appreciate life. That life is so fragile. So you just have to, to be thankful to be alive.